Hey guys, it's Saf here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and it is the final day of the Soul Rush. I was waiting for my Hydra resets. I did do a major Hydra key last night, following up on my Taunt Hydra teams. I'm going to do another video on that now that I've got some more information uh, in a future video. But today what I want to do is I want to do the Soul Stone Rush. I did buy a cheeky 40 bound pack. You know, generally I personally believe that, sh that Soul Stones for my account is far more valuable than shards because the difficulties in trying to get like specific champions that actually aren't duplicates for me are quite high. Naturally, there is a new system coming that uh, I'm just going to discuss in a separate video because that's obviously a lot to, to break down what they've announced um, today. So that is another video I need to do. But in today's video here, I just want to kind of do a bit of a, a nice, calm, a bit of a soulstone rush. It is kind of doubly beneficial if you can get to 1,290 here because you will get yourself 50 prism crystals. And if you also have been doing your fusion warm up, which you should have been, you also get 10 prism crystals here. So I can leave it a few hours, wait until the midnight reset, my time, pick myself up 10 more prism crystals, and that will give me two summons. That's given me two chances at Harima. Prism systems are probably the only other thing that I would think is valuable for my level of account because it gives me a predetermined chance of getting some legendaries that I don't have. I pretty much have all the legendaries here apart from Harima, but because there are only eight legendaries, if I'm pulling for this and I, I do hit the, the legendary, I get lucky, then I've only got a one in eight chance of getting Harima instead of like a one in 600 chance, right? It's a much better opportunity. So that's kind of like why I'm a little bit motivated to do a little bit of this. Souls do help me as well. We have got all of our Hydra stones here. We've got uh, 59 stones to go through, 13 here. Um, so we're going to pull them all. We're going to see what we're going to get. We'll start with the mortal soul stones before we go into the rest. The wish list is kind of pointless, to be honest, because it's only two times chance. So it basically sticks another card in. So the chance of me getting one of these is actually quite low. I have often wondered if I just take everything out, but it feels like at least it's a little bit something better than nothing. Um, I do have quite a lot of Mythic Souls, so we're going to be continuing the adventures to see if Mythic Souls are still busted in this Soul Summoning odds, right? You're not meant to be able to get these more than, what is it, 2% chance on a Mortal Soul Stone. It's mythical, and 0.5 is a high one. It's like 2% chance, so I should really be getting like 2 in 100. So if I'm pulling 59, maybe I should get one Mythical Soul, so we'll see if that makes a, makes a bit of a difference. So we'll see. We'll, we'll have to have a go. Um, yeah, I guess there's nothing else to talk about. Let's just get summon in. Let's see what we get. I, I can buy more storage if I want to now. They've increased it to like a thousand, but I wouldn't spend the gems to do it. We'll clear it out as we go through the video because probably half of these Mortal Soul Stones, I either already have Champions Awakened and Ascended for it, or I'm not going to need, need them because they're like one star rares or something. So let's go. Let's get started with this. What are we going to get? Now, the nice thing with Soulstone Rush is you know exactly how many points you're going to get. So the points that I've got here will guarantee me those Prism Crystals. I know exactly. It doesn't matter what quality. All I'm hoping for here is good souls. Now, it doesn't matter if they're high, they're low. Whereas with the Soul Chase, you really want those high high stars. Those high stars where all the points come into it. So what have we got here? Deathless, already got that. Already got a Wuji, already got a Necro Hunter and Caness. So that's pretty much a full wipe off the list, that one. We're going to get rid of that in entirety. Oh, we get a Legendary. What are we going to get? Oh, an Arbiter. Do you know what? I actually don't have an Arbiter Soul. So that's really good. That's an actual huge pull. We also get a three-star remote. Another Legendary. Wow, we're going crazy here. Epics and legendaries. Finish off with legendary. Oh, it was an epic. But actually, that's really good. I, somehow, I've not had an Arbiter Soul with all the different champions I've got awakened. That's huge. The Roxam is pointless. I already have a six-star Roxam. And Archbishop, if I ever get the champion, maybe it'll be good. So we're already at cap. There you go. I need to do a bit of clearing out. We are going to have to clear some more space. Otherwise, it's going to take a long video. But we can absolutely awaken the Arbiter. And that's huge because that gives me... Um, the Aura Banner, right? So we get the first one-star Aura Banner. It would be better if it's three-star, but two-star is pretty good as well. So let's just awaken that. We're just going to make sure we get the right one here. Awaken that champion. So I'm going to clear out the storage, and then we're going to pull the rest of these souls. So we've got some more space here. Let's carry on. One thing I actually should do, which I didn't think to do here, is to actually put in Madman. We are, you know, building that team up bit by a bit. Maybe we'll try it in Hydra. So I should put Madman in here because I don't actually have him awakened. What else are we going to get then? So we had a good run with a triple legendary. We're going to get two epics. We're getting epic rates. Three epics. Three epics in a row. We get a wish list called heart there. Is Bale. There is a legendary. It's a two star Cupidus. Okay, that's good. I don't know if that's an upgrade, but it's good. I do have two Cupiduses built. How many epics is that? That is like eight. What is it? Seven out of ten epics? That's possibly the craziest epic pull I've ever seen. Absolutely nuts. 
We're probably going to get 10 rays now that I've done that. But, oh, the epic rates continue. And now it'll be rays. Surely the, the luck can't continue. There's a one-star seeker. We already have a six-star. There's a legendary. A three-star Katone. That is huge. We use him in Hydra. That is really good. And we get the Madman. That is a huge pull. This is why I say souls are really good. Because I feel like I actually get something for the investment that I put into it. I get some soul value out of this by having champions. Okay, it could do some stuff like this as well. Where you basically get absolutely nothing of value at all. Which is what this pull is going to be. But the last two pulls were actually really good. See if the, the, the one pull strategy works better. That's a rare. It didn't work for that one. That's a grappler we don't want. What else are we going to get here? It's an epic. It's an Inquisitor Shamayel. That's good. We use him. In, I'm, I'm using him more and more in Hydra these days. Just the Torment Head is a problem. Another epic. That we are not using. Good old Barath the Blood Soaked. Then we get a five star sealed Bowyer. Okay. Probably useful in some secret rooms, maybe. What else are we going to get here? We get a two star Erin And we've got a five star, so that's not really going to help us. And then we have a. Two-star Templar, if you want a solo Bommel, maybe. Again, I don't do that anymore. I have Nishak, and I just one-shot everything. Two-star Hellborn. Another rare. It's going to be a one-star Wyvern Bane. And then, of course, finally a one-star Skink. Okay, so that is all of the mythical, uh, all the mortal ones. Then we got the big stones come. I never really find I get much of these stones. So we're going to clear out the vault and then we're going to pull the stones that I actually think generally I get nothing from. So all of those legendary souls were actually upgrades. We managed to upgrade Suzerain Catone to rank three, Cupidus to rank two. Those are big upgrades. They're 500 attack each. That has a lot of damage. So we're going to pull three. I really don't like these stones. I always find I, I always get like four star rares. It's really bad, but maybe we'll get lucky today. Let's see what we get. We get a mythic. There is that mythic I was talking about. It's a three star Garrel. I knew there would be at least one mythic soul, you know, coming out of these stones. That is a mythic one. Shame it's a Garrel. We already have the Garrel. That's a bit frustrating, but there you go. Um, what else are we going to get here? A rare. This is what I, I tend to get a lot. Three star rares. So we got basically all full stuff there. Um, we did get a second Garrel. I guess we keep it in case we have two Garrels. I don't really know. I mean, the only good thing is you do get a ton of coins for it. So you, you get a lot of value back. Anyway, so we're going to do a 10 pull. The last 10 pull of the video. What are we going to get? Are we going to get something good? Give me a nice legendary soul. That's what I really want. There's a legendary. It's for a Jorgen I don't own. Oh, that's frustrating. Ah, oh, Anything else? Oh, Neldor. Another legendary. Oh, I own a Kimmy. That's good. Okay, a six-star Grandmaster and a six-star Bogwalker. I'm a five-star Jorgid. For most people would be like, that's amazing. That's the best investment they've ever got. I don't have Jorgid. So when I get Jorgid in the future, maybe. The, the Neldor guy is the new finite guy. I don't know if he's actually any good. I haven't got him yet. So he looks very out of place with his character portrait. He looks very like, I don't know, dark, mysterious fantasy. Um, I think the Lady Kimmy is an upgrade, though. I'm pretty sure the Lady Kimmy is an upgrade. Let's find out. As actually, we don't even have a soul, so that's good. Lady Kimmy, another legendary that we didn't even have a soul on. So that's Arbiter and Lady Kimmy. That's really huge. Those are massive, massive increases in strength for those two champions because now they have access to a blessing they didn't even have access to. Um, we do get a Jorgid soul here. I can probably sell my two-star Jorgid now, so i got a five-star available. So that's kind of cool. You can see all these legendary souls that I'm waiting to get the legendary hero for, like... Garrels, I don't have. I don't, I've got a five-star Grizzor that I don't have. Oh, it's frustrating. But, you know, the two Kaimans are probably the worst ones. But, um, yes, but there we go. So, where did that actually leave us in terms of a, a, a soul summoning here? What do we get? So, that put us all the way through to 1800. So, we got a Primal Shard back. We got a Void Shard. We got the Prism Crystals. So, that's actually a pretty good pull. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we'll keep the coins. I'm not really interested in summoning any more than that because I'm not really that fussed on a five-star chicken. You know, it'd have to go super deep to get those, which we're not interested in. But what we can do, we can pull at least one. We won't be able to pull the other one until tonight. So this that other one won't be in the video, unfortunately. But this is why I did this. I got two of these pulls. I like the prism system so long as everyone gets a chance of getting one. I would like them to be a little bit more accessible than soul stones. But if you've saved the soul stones, then that was quite reasonable to get at least one summon. In my opinion, anyway, because I didn't really summon too many of them. If you've saved like two months worth of soul stones and decided to blow it on that event, that would be good. The difficulty, you never know which one to, to summon on. 
but i i would prefer them to have like at least one summon on the top of every single tournament so as long as you do the tournaments you get one one summon out of it it's not really free but you get you get access to one if it was just behind a paywall i don't like the system i think that's the key thing that i would point out so we get one chance 4.5 percent. so it's better than ancient better than primal not as good as sacred let's see what we get do we get harima that's what we would really want more than anything else is harima it's an epic oh it is illicinia that's actually super good that is actually super good because i'm pretty sure i didn't want to get rid of illicinia so i've got two of them now i, I want to keep one because i like to keep an epic of everything so of all the epics i could have got i got ender i've got those I picked up a Fergan from the Hero Path. So any of the, the Mikage ones. So Fergan, Illicinia. Um, I can never remember this champion's name. That's Illicinia. There's another one as well. This one here. I always mix them. Indalia. One of those would have been great. So that was really, really good. I didn't really have any value for all the rest because I've got all the rest. I think with the exception of Yalagina. No, I think I've got that champion as well. So really, that was like the best case scenario if it wasn't going to be a legendary is one of those Mikage fusions. So... We've got that one here. The only thing is we don't have an Ishma. We don't have a Delaja because those are, were recent fusions. And I don't really want to get rid of my Aelfrig either because it's four-star awakened. So I will wait to get the duplicates. I'm not in a rush. That's why I haven't bothered doing the Lumber of Finite tournament because I'll end up getting it from Ancients at some point. Same as Vanguard. So I'm not in a super rush to do it. Soul Summon completed. I'll have one more chance of that when the reset comes in tonight when I can get my last 10 Prism Crystals. Maybe the Harima is on the horizon. It would be really good. I could really do with just one more meta damage dealer for my arena teams. I'm really just struggling to keep those attack-based champions alive. And they're not very good into Taras either. Harima would solve that problem. So maybe if we're, if we're lucky, we'll get it. We'll see what happens. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.